Okay, deal with here. 2.3, 2 kilos. Okay, good. I can open? Yes, please open. Okay. like a bursa for baby. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Ooh, wow, 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 wow. Yeah. Look at that. It's transparent. It has some weight and it has volume. Wow. Huh. And we have to go and test it. Um, okay. This next piece now? We look, we look in the microscope later, you know, but I, I, I feel it. I feel the importance of the piece. It's very heavy, it has beautiful volume and everything. If this is what it's supposed to be, it will become the world record ruby. Yes. yes. So now what we're doing now. So. Um, let me organize the workflow. Also, I have to follow it personally. Let's walk to the lab. Hello. Morning. Good morning, everybody. 101.76. Yes. Okay, we measure here. It is. Jesus Christ, look at that color. I'm on the air. Jesus Chromium, iron, gallium. It's quite high iron, huh? But iron is high, no? I'm surprised. No, it, this, is, this is depends on the activation energy we use. Uh -huh. it's, it's not, it doesn't say it has high iron. Yeah. It comes after the calculation, you know, because you can low energy, medium energy, high, you know, ah, yes. depending on the, yes. the, the heavier element get more yeah. higher in peak and you go to medium energy, then the higher uh, iron comes yeah. down and yes, so on. Down. But because it's an open color, it might be still fluorescent. Yes. Oh, yeah. it's very fluorescent. All right. Okay. So that's what I think. I have to try a little bit. Uh, we will make upstairs one more time high tech, two other infrared, infrared microscope, and the other one machine. This one is just the first one. Okay, I see this structure. It's good, now? Yes, sir. Okay, we can put like this and put all the documents inside. Okay. It's probably getting the biggest ruby in the world. It is. No? World record. I have no idea. I mean, I don't know any. No, it has. Like it has to be judged after cutting. To be fair. Yeah. So you can make a wire and the perfect stone out of it, and yes. then that will be the world record, yes. history world record ruby ever found on the planet Earth. Because I, you have to. I 40 years I looking at all the best stones in the world. The final is always after cutting. Yeah, you know? I agree, I agree, I agree. Yeah, so we have to be careful. But yeah. the potential is there. Yeah. That's why all yeah. this all this special effort sending it here and all this exactly. and that. Exactly. So this is this is a stone that walks with the directors at the upper floor yes. and handed from director to director and doesn't go doesn't another go. level. No, no, yeah. Be careful with stone, huh? Oh. No dropping. It's too big? Yeah. Okay, not put in, not put in, no, no make, yeah. no make, take out. Put to the other machine. Okay. Moment. Okay. All right. Floor sent. Baseline. Yeah. Okay. No dropping, nothing has 20 millions, just co-pilot.
Then we need a color stability test run. That's something, huh? That's a big boy, huh? Mm. We haven't seen that before yet, huh? Me for sure. And you? One. But a little bit smaller, but depends what's coming out after cut. Wow. Wow. Yes. So let me have a look. Yes. That is what the reaction we want. Wow. <laughs> and this one in. Look at that. Yeah, right. That's it's why blowing, was, right? Yeah. Yeah, strong. Yeah, look. Strong. Medium strong. Yeah. No, because the rim, the rim, no, because the rim, the rim of it, you know, shows more fluorescence than the center. So yeah. you have to judge the final stone. But I would say it goes into strong. Yes. Yeah. Okay. You see, there are there are some internal cracks, a little bit something, as you know. A little bit is there. Very uh, small fissures, maybe. Uh, that has to be seen after cutting, mm -hmm. so it's not it's not like without, but it is it doesn't have big cracks. Mm -hmm. The silk is very small. It's very fine. Yes. So it's not going to be reflective pla platelets. Yes. There are no platelets, only silk. The silk normally you can manage yes. with the light going through. Yes. It is uh, under the table is a little bit silk, you know, in the center. Yes. But when you make a vibrant cut with a big depth, you can overpower the this depth. area, yes. you know. Uh, the crack on the crown is not going in much on this side. There is one, is it a feather? Moment, please, this one. This one is to be the, supposed to be the table, huh? Yes. So you have one little issue. The table has that big line going through. It's a fluid inclusion feather. Okay. Okay, better, yeah. No, the crack, the I mean, after you polish that, you will see quickly whether it's a crack or not. Yeah. Right? But I think it's not, no, it's not a crack. It's a fluid inclusion feather. That means half of the crack is healed. Mm. It's a healed one. It will not break. Mm. Yeah, and then you have all this volume. So I guess you will get a 53.5 carat stone out of it. Excellent out of it. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you calculated? Yes. Anywhere between 52 to 56. So now we register the inclusions. Here is this, uh, this very fine silk in the stone. Very fine silk. I take it a little bit up more. Here is the feature that goes through the could, table. Could that be because of that frac of that breakage at the back? What? That, that line in the table? No, it's not a reflection. It's truly a fluid, fluid feather. With little dots of the fluids, you know. You want to put the optical axis yeah, on the table, the, huh? That is the optic axis, the axis. So perpendicular to it should be the orange color, which we definitely very yeah, clearly see. One. Yeah, that you want to go through orange, this? Right, go to it. <laughs> Photos are, are done. Dimensions done. We take dimension. Second dimension meter. Depths different because the depths, I mean, 15, which is only slight because slight. you want to make it vibrant. Slight, yes. The vertical thickness you can increase, we can make it slightly thick. We can change to cushion, okay, instead of.